Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Incoming Lordy and today we're back once again in Predator Hunting Grounds. And we'll be discussing today the idea of Super Predators being added as DLC or an update for customization within Predator Hunting Grounds. So it's playable and enjoyable to use within the game. Maybe even turned into a separate class for the Predators. Fingers crossed that Ilphonic is watching this video and they add Super Predators to the game. But mates, as always, make sure to hit that like button to show support towards the channel and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our content. We know majority of our viewers are watching our content but have not subscribed yet, so make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the first time I witnessed a Super Predator or majority of you guys witnessed a Super Predator was in the movie Predator 2010. That was when they were introduced to the franchise and there was three of them. Well, the first one was being Berserker, the second Falconer, and the third one Tracker. Hopefully have images appearing on screen at the same time. And they do have unique features to each Super Predator. But mates, before you do go insane, there is more Super Predators. I know that already in the comics, being Night Stalker and, and Berserker LV412. But there's many more within this series when it comes to the comics, without a doubt. The dynamic between Predator and humans was there, but the Super Predator was an overseeing character or overseeing force that was above the Predator and the humans. So that increased the threat level by a whole bunch. So having more Super Predators within one movie meant it's a high threat to the existence of Predator and also to the existence of humans. And I say Predator being the normal species of the Predator, not the Super Predator clan. But these Super Predators are very unique and when you see them in the movie, it is amazing to witness because they all have different type of customization. The tracker has its tusk at the bottom of its mask. The Berserker has a like a bone piece structure on his mask as well. So it just looks so good. And then you have Falconer with a clean cut, smooth transition. He's pretty much the Genji of Predators. <laughs> That's what makes it so cool to see. So there's a lot of items that can be used as customization for Ulphonic to put into Predator Hunting Grounds, without a doubt. But what I think would be the better execution is to utilize these characters or these Super Predators as classes within Predator Hunting Grounds. They are restricted in the way they can't change their equipment or gear because they are fixed and they lead to a certain purpose or gameplay style that Ulphonic wants in the game. So then as a player, I have a choice between the three classes of normal Predator that I can choose now, when I can change the equipment and change the gameplay style completely, or I can choose one of these Super Predators, which have a strict gameplay style because of the restrictions of the year and how the outcome will be done in game. So then I have a Falconer character being one of the Super Predators, and his main weapon will be the sword. He also have the rest of his kit that Alphonic wanted for the character. Maybe it's a Predator pistol instead as his secondary, and then from there there's some perks to give him increased health or increased movement speed. And then with Tracker, what you can do there is highlight his tracking abilities by utilizing the perks and giving them maybe more target isolation when it comes to sound and also maybe footprints that he can see visibly that are left on the floor as he's tracking down his prey. Just giving the character such a unique aspect like that will make players want to gravitate to that Predator class and utilize it. So that leads to a clear definition of what a Predator is within Hunting Grounds and also a Super Predator in Hunting Grounds. You can see what the classes are, what is going to happen, what the outcomes you can get and what you desire to play is there for you to choose as an option. I think that's a really good idea as a way of setting up Predator classes. Obviously, this has nothing to do with the fire team because the fire team can use other characters like Arnold being Dutch and some other iconic characters within the Predator franchise. So the idea is out there, the possibilities are there. Let's see if it happens because I would love to see this happen to the game. But mates, as always, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts about the Super Predators and would you like to see them be implemented the way I discussed it within this video, being a separate class to the game so when anyone picks Predator, they have a choice between normal Predators and a Super Predator. Tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you mates did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that bell notification button to keep up to date with our content. And that is all for this video. It is a pleasure to have you mates on the channel as we go through this. And as always, I'll catch you mates in the next one. Bye.